Hey there, guys. Frank Matic here, and we are back. Moving on to Chapter 2. And yeah, this is all that finding the horse did. Change our map sprite. Ooh, boy. Also, we're finding Spanish treasure instead of rescuing the president. Because, you know, that's how it is. Now, that guy just told us where they're hidden, so there's actually not any real reason to go into the village right now. So instead, we'll go here, which is our other game type. First person caves. And god do I hate this. I assume this would be easier if I had a zapper. But since I don't, it is fairly annoying. And it also is a huge drain on... bullets, which then becomes a huge drain on money. And health, because I get shot a lot. And though it's not happening yet, they can appear on all sides of you. Like this. Crap, I wanted those bullets. Hopefully I won't run out of bullets, because that would not be cool. That's a dead end. Somewhere in here there is a plate that that guy was talking about. Don't mind my saving. But this is actually way more difficult than it might look. Whew, that was close. And there is one really nasty encounter coming up. Somewhere. This might be the hallway of doom. Nope, not... or is it? Yeah, this is it. Lots of guys all over the place in this hallway. We get new encounters every couple of steps. And as you may notice, we get shot a lot. This is actually the reason I've been save stating. It is very easy to die here and have to redo the entire area. And I am totally almost out of bullets, that's not cool. Hopefully, though... Yes, we are at the end. That's one of two plate pieces collected. Hooray! And we actually didn't die in the process. Okay, let me leave, Tonto. Thank you. Now, before we continue on to get the other piece... It is time to go to town and heal up a bit. And restock on bullets. That should do for now. I want to try and save up $200 for the next segment. Now, despite there not being an obvious entrance here, we can go in here. And in fact, we have to, because this is where the next part is. 
next part of the plate to be a bit more accurate. Also, it's another one of those places where there's a lot of really obnoxious to make jumps. Ooh. The boss here is a bit harder than the last one was. Ow. The short-barreled gun is pretty terrible. Next chapter, I think, is when we will get the first upgrade. It'd be nice if I could hit this guy. There we go. As you can see, these guys can all shoot way the fuck farther than I can. Yeah, I really don't want to fall here. Okay. And one more. Oh, hey, health. I didn't even know they dropped health in this part, in these parts. That was stupid. The Lone Ranger cannot kill people with his face. That guy's a little too low to hit there, so let's just bypass him entirely. Ah! Okay, and here should be the boss, who is a bit more of a dick, so I'm going to use silver bullets on him. He throws knives, and for some reason my ducking strategy worked a lot better this time around than last time where he kept pegging me in the head with them.